I work tightly with Brian Clemens uh, since he's the GM. I'm the national sales manager and I'm also product manager as well. My role is that I work with the engineer, I work with production, I work with service. The culture is like a family here and that starts from the top. It's a great culture. I've been with Dynamax for four and a half years. Just a really neat product line, cool people to work with, and uh, the Dynamax culture is just what sold me on it. So I started Dynamax in early 2015, so a little over eight years now. Now that I've been doing it for so long, I've got to see all the different quality points along the spectrum of RVs, and it makes me feel so blessed to land at Dynamax, so I've never had to sell price point. It's always been, you know, you're selling quality. Typical day for me usually starts out between 7 and 7.30 that I come to the office, and when I get here, you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, every day's different. There'll be days where we're working on product training materials. There's days where we're out doing the product training at a dealership or at shows. A lot of the day that I'm spending with vendors as well since I'm product manager, so try to keep up with the trends, see what's new. It's a mix of office time, being out on the production floor, uh, sometimes being on the road. We monitor the forms, we monitor Facebook. I'm getting feedback from Facebook groups that we have, as well as the Forest Server forums. That's why we're so involved in social media platforms and getting customer feedback there, because they're the ones using the rigs every day. I go to all the retail shows, whether they're in my territory or not. I listen to that end user. That's the best education that we can get. What can I do as a sales rep, a customer service rep? I mean, those often blends. I can consider myself a customer service rep as much as a salesperson. We're all worried about that end customer and making sure that their ownership experience is great before, during, and after the sale. We do walk every single coach the sales team does. That's part of our quality control process. Before a unit is shipped, we'll go out there and actually mark and inspect each of the units. When we do that, we can ask those questions of, hey, why do we do it this way? And then bring that to our sales manager, and that's a day-to-day -day basis. That's where we can identify anything that needs to fix or make any product changes. And it makes us know our product better than anybody else, because we walk in literally every single one of them. We aren't gonna wait till next model year to make a change that's gonna improve the product. We do lots of running changes. We're on the front line when it comes to improving that product, as well as having opportunities to take some of our prototype units out and go camp in them. So we actually use these vehicles. Brian and I, James Andrews and Dwayne Crane, we took a trip to a campground and we used this. That's one thing that helps us stay up on trends is how one is used. And that's a huge part of it is being able to actually use them and drive them and then develop your feedback. I make it a point every day to communicate with the dealership. I'm not calling to get orders. I'm calling to give them support. Relationships that I've built over the years and the continuing relationships that I do have, that is super rewarding when you can see a dealer who's been really working hard to partner with us and then you can see them grow and prosper. I love building relationships and I've created a lot of friends at the dealer level and also as, as customers, you know, I find it very rewarding. Uh, you have to be available. And you have to truly care, so when things do come up, you're not pushing them off to somebody else, but you're kind of taking the reins and helping them through that. Know your product and be sincere, honest, kind, and follow through for them. Customer service is our number one priority. That's our job day in and day out. And then by then, it's, it's five o'clock. It is not ever the same uh, from day to day. So that's what's kind of nice about the job, is it doesn't get um, too monotonous. So you got something fun and new to do pretty much every single day. You know, and the most important thing that I'd like to say is if you take two seconds to answer that phone call, whether it's a dealer or whether it's a customer, it just takes care of things. And you, it, it, you can get so far in life by doing that. Just take two seconds.